Hello, I'm Ioannis. This is Burke. We are students um, in 530, 420, Robot Sensors and Actuators. Uh, it's a class at Johns Hopkins University. Our professor is Dr. Lewis Whitcomb. We will basically demonstrate to you uh, our final project. The criteria for this project were um, to use at least two sensors. As you can see here, one of the sensors is a um, temperature sensor. The second sensor is a uh, ping sonar. And then we have to use at least one actuator. The actuator is a DC servo motor. And we had to use variables in our code program, if and then, which we used. Uh, human input we have is, uh, as you can see here, demonstrated by Burke, it's a potentiometer. And that's it. Basically, you move it higher or lower to increase and decrease uh, the desired temperature. That as well is a push button. If uh, we push, uh, we push it. You can. Uh, it displays on the LCD right here above the um, desired RPS and the um, mean RPS. And then right now is the temperature desired and the uh, temperature measured. And that is it. This is the servo motor's op amp. Once the motor will work, it will build heat, which will be stored on this heat sink. The temperature sensor is connected to the heat sink. And as it is shown on the LCD, the current initial temperature is 12 degrees Celsius. Now, if you push the push button, which is located here. The LCD displays the RPS readouts, and clearly the RPS measured equals zero because the fan is not moving. Now let's turn it on. The fan is now blowing at a different direction from the heat sink, so the heat can be accumulated, as you can see, on the LCD. So as you can see, slowly but surely, the temperature is rising from 15 to 16. We will show you a video after a couple of minutes. All right, now we waited for four minutes, and uh, the temperature has definitely increased. It increased to about 44 degrees Celsius. Now we will adjust our desired temperature using the potentiometer. That is the potentiometer. Now basically, as I rotate the potentiometer, the desired temperature should change accordingly. And I want it to be around 15 uh, degrees Celsius. All right, that looks good. Now we will rotate our device so it can cool the heat sink. As you can see, the temperature is already starting to decrease because the fan is working very efficiently. In addition, we have included a safety measure in front of the fan using the pink sonar. Basically, as you move the device close to the heat sink, the fan should immediately stop so the fan does not hurt, harm the heat sink. So as you can see here, as I'm moving it forward, the sensor should detect a certain range underneath it and stop the fan. As you can see here, 
the LCD indicates danger and that the range below it is around 18 centimeters. We'll show you another video in a couple of minutes. All right, now we have waited around five minutes. Our desired temperature is uh, around uh, equal to our, this, uh, our measured temperature. Once they are exactly equal, the fan uh, should stop. As you can see right now, it actually has reached. So as you can see right now, it's fluctuating basically because it's, uh, it has reached it. Okay, now it definitely has reached it and the fan has actually stopped. That's showing a successful trial all around. Now if I decrease uh, the desire, if I increase... If I increase the desired temperature, the fan also will stop. Now if we push the push button, we will show again that our desired RPS as well as our measured RPS is zero because the fan is not rotating.